Smoke rose over the village of Rupperswell, a community of about 5,000 inhabitants in Argau, Switzerland. Firemen were called to a fire in a two-family house, and upon arrival, four bodies were located at the site. It soon became clear that four people had been killed before the fire broke out. Their bodies were not only badly burnt, but all of their throats had been slit, which indicated a homicide. The victims were 48-year-old Carla Schauer, her two sons, 13-year-old Davin and 19-year-old Dion, and Dion's 21-year-old girlfriend, Simona Foss. Just days before Christmas, the news spread through the community that a family had been murdered, which left residents terrified. It was the beginning of one of the largest manhunt campaigns in Switzerland. The horrific murders rocked the nation and sparked a massive hunt to find the killer, including the highest ever reward of 100,000 Swiss francs for information leading to their arrest. They were quickly dubbed the Beast of Rupperswell by Swiss media. The first important clue came from the internet giant Google. Investigators had applied to Google to obtain the IP addresses of all of the computers of which the victim's family was Googled during the period before the crime. According to investigators, it was only thanks to the help of the American search engine that they got on the right track. One particular suspect had searched for his victims beforehand and also found information on the internet. They left a clear data trail. Only from here did the antenna search come into play in the second step, and that was an extra burden for the suspect. The movement pattern of the suspect was common. They usually walked with their dogs at about the same time and often passed the shower family. On the day of the crime, their cell phone did not connect to the regular transmitter mast. They had not gone for a walk that Monday morning as usual. Their sudden change of movement patterns made them even more suspicious to the investigators and thus became the next important piece of the puzzle. According to the police source, they knew that the suspect was on his way to Argau and a traffic control was set up between Rupperswell and Rower AG. They were stopped, given an alcohol test, and made to blow into the tube. This is how the investigators got the suspect's DNA. This was immediately sent to the laboratory where it was compared with DNA found at the crime scene, a direct hit. Access took place the next morning. About 10 police officers stormed a Starbucks branch in Argau and arrested the killer just before 9 a.m., exactly 146 days after the murder. The $100,000 reward was given to the more than 40 police investigators who worked on the case and helped catch the accused. Police apparently received 250 tips from the public during the course of the investigation. The killer was Thomas Nick, and he had already researched the internet and had new possible victims in sight. Thirty-four-year-old Thomas Nick was brought up in Rupperswell and lived with his mother and two huskies only a few hundred meters from the house in the same Argau village. He was a football coach for a junior team in the area for three years and still worked for the club during the time of his arrest. He also had no prior criminal records and did not know of the Shower family beforehand. Well, all except 13-year-old Davin, whom he did not know personally, but had his eyes set on and stalked him for some time. It was later revealed that he meticulously planned his crime. He purchased his weapon, a large kitchen knife, which has never been found, just several months before the crime. 
He said he wrapped the knife in gift wrapping and disposed of it in a trash bin in the city of Argao. He also made several trips to stake out the neighborhood where the family lived. After his arrest, investigators found a backpack containing a weapon and material used to tie people up in more than 1,000 child pornography videos and over 10,000 photos in his computer. They found the name of 11 boys aged between 11 and 14 written in his notebook. They also determined that he was spying on two families in Bern and Solothurn in the north, raising concern that he had been planning a repeat of his macabre plan. Once in custody, Thomas Nick confessed to everything, including the horror that took place at the Shower family's home five months prior. Thomas Nick previously studied the routine of the family, so on this morning, he purposely waited for Davin's father to leave the house. Once the father left, Thomas turned up at the house, presenting himself as a school psychologist, and was welcomed in to speak with Mrs. Shower and Davin. He carried a backpack filled with handcuffs, a knife, electric lighter, tape, gloves, a mouth mask, and sex toys. Once invited in, he threatened them with his knife and forced the mother to tie her older son, Dion, and his girlfriend, Simona Foss, before sending her out to withdraw money, around $11,000, from her bank account. Upon the mother's return, he tied her up, and DNA evidence confirmed that he sexually assaulted the youngest boy in front of them before slitting all four victims' throats and setting the house on fire. Afterwards, he walked home, took a shower, and then went for a walk with his mother and dogs. That evening, he went out with colleagues to a restaurant and casino in Zurich. He used the stolen money to splurge on designer clothing, a skiing trip, and bought his mother a holiday as a present. Five months after the quadruple murders, Thomas Nick was charged with and pled guilty to murder, extortion, hostage taking, sexual assault, sexual acts with a child, and arson among other counts. During his trial, Thomas acknowledged being a pedophile. This worried parents from the football club he worked for that he may have abused young players in the club. However, police told the media there was no evidence that he sexually abused anyone at the football club or elsewhere. He also admitted that he had put his mobile phone in flight mode before the crime, which contributed to his arrest. On March 16, 2018, he was convicted and sentenced to life in prison, but with the possibility of parole after 20 years. By 2031, his life sentence will end and it will be assessed if he is still a danger for release. This case shocked the Rupperswell community in Switzerland at large. It is a gruesome crime perpetrated by a pedophile that unjustifiably claimed the lives of four innocent and loving people. No information is available online about the family's father or funeral services. But may the Shower family and Simona Foss rest peacefully in paradise. May Thomas Nick never see his way out of prison. And thank you all for watching.